Hi there, this is Mike Adams, the Health Ranger with naturalnews.com with an important message for all of the governors of the states in the United States of America and the state legislators as well. It's an idea called the Health Freedom Zone. Now here's what's happening. This healthcare dictatorship that has taken place in America today called Obamacare, this is causing states to go broke. And it's enforcing a monopoly on a system of medicine that we know doesn't work. The American people aren't getting any healthier with drugs and surgery and radiation, chemotherapy, and even with mammography, by the way. The system doesn't help people. It doesn't prevent disease. It only treats the symptoms of disease. And it keeps consumers trapped in a lifetime of dependence on a sick care system that doesn't offer them any way out. But at the same time, it drains the money from your state. It's causing your state to go bankrupt. It's causing the corporations in your state to go bankrupt. So states are going to need a way out. They need a solution that really works. And I've got that solution for you. It's a bold solution. It's called the Health Freedom Zone. And all it means is that your state declares itself to be the place in the United States of America for health freedom, for health freedom practitioners, that's naturopathic doctors who can treat cancer using natural methods. I personally know many such doctors who know how to cure cancer using alternative and natural methods that are very inexpensive, that are highly effective, that are safe, and that have been proven across many thousands of patients. Those physicians right now have to practice medicine outside the United States. So if your state can declare itself to be a health freedom zone and invite these physicians to come in and practice medicine in your state, to practice natural anti-cancer therapies, to practice nutritional medicine that can reverse diabetes, reverse obesity, reverse heart disease like Dr. Julian Whitaker is doing in his Whitaker Wellness Center in California. If your state could welcome people in and give them the right to practice medicine that really works, two things would happen. Number one, your state's financial problems would be solved. Why? Because your state would become the health care, the, the natural health care medical tourism mecca for the entire country. People would flock to your state from all over the United States and probably even from places like Canada. So that's one thing that would happen. The second thing is that the people of your state would get healthier. Why? Because they would have access to these important health services. The anti-cancer treatments that really work. The nutritional medicine, the orthomolecular medicine, chiropractic care, traditional Chinese medicine herbs, and many other modalities that really work to prevent disease. Now the side effect from all of this would also be quite amazing. So if you're spending billions of dollars or even hundreds of millions of dollars uh, treating sickness and disease in your state, by declaring your state to be a natural health care freedom zone, you would allow your people to not only be healthier, you would save yourself all kinds of money. And that's money that your state could use in its general budget to support schools, to, to build roads, to do all the things that you need to do to improve the quality of life of the people in your state. And that, in turn, would attract more people to your state so that your state becomes a desirable place to live. So instead of cities and towns crumbling and people moving out because quality of life is falling, like you see in Detroit these days, as an example, your cities and towns would begin to attract more people with more people, you have higher property values, you have more economic opportunity, and you have a higher tax base that once again raises your income. So if you think about it, if you declare your state to be a health freedom zone, you get all the benefits such as reduced costs, increased quality of life, increased health, and increased desirability of living, and you have no downside. Well, the downside is that you might have a lot of angry doctors and drug company lobbyists who aren't happy with your decision to invest in the health of your people rather than entrapping them in a system of sickness and disease that the drug industry depends on for its own profitability. 
The psychiatric doctors might not like you either, because when people are healthy, it's more difficult to diagnose them with mental disorders and put them on psychotropic drugs, which are another profit center for Big Pharma. They depend on, on these diagnoses to make all kinds of money. So these are just some of the benefits that you would experience from doing this. There are many other benefits too. Improved happiness, improved fertility, improved longevity among your population, even improved cognitive function so that your workforce, for example, is better at doing its job. You know, that makes a difference. Corporations can find that they are more effective being in your state because the people they hire are healthier, smarter, more functional, more able to get the job done. No state can afford to treat sickness and disease under a system of medicine. It seems like it's designed to continue that more sickness and more disease. It's, it's designed to just trap people in sickness and disease. And that's what modern medicine is. That's what this medical monopoly is today. And any state that tries to keep funding more sickness and more disease will find itself bankrupt. I mean, many states are already on the verge of bankruptcy. And if you try to go along with this health care system, this Obamacare system, you're going to be bankrupt even more quickly. It's inevitable. The math just doesn't add up. You cannot have a healthy state, and you cannot have a healthy nation if your population isn't healthy. And you can't have a healthy population if they aren't taught how to prevent disease with nutrition and vitamin D and sunlight and exercise and making good decisions at the grocery store, how to be intelligent consumers, how to stop drinking sodas and aspartame and the chemicals that are in the food supply, how to avoid using pharmaceuticals and take care of your health in a natural way, using food as your medicine, using exercise as your medicine. And these are exactly the things that the conventional medical system doesn't want you to teach your people. And your state has to make a decision. Are you going to go along with Obamacare and just be another state that promotes a lifetime of disease and a lifetime of, of sickness and disorders and suffering among your people that makes money for the drug companies and makes money for the health insurance industry while denying your people the right to real health care, real natural medicine that, that naturally works to prevent disease? Or will your state be the one that sets the example? You could set an example. You could declare health freedom in your state. You could declare that nutritional supplements could tell the truth on their labels. You could let companies tell the truth about herbs that can help prevent cancer and boost immune function or lower blood pressure or regulate blood sugar. If your state could allow companies to do that, your people would be better informed. And then they would make better choices about what to purchase that helps protect their health and prevent disease. And you would experience all the benefits from that. Lower health care costs, lower rates of chronic disease, and higher rates of happiness among your people. Every state is going to have to make this decision in the near future, whether you wish to go down the path of disease and pharmaceuticals, or if you're going to choose the path of health freedom, disease prevention, nutrition, and lifelong health and happiness. And the states that make the former choice, the choice of drugs and surgery and disinformation, those states will collapse financially. They will not be able to compete with the other states that choose a path of health and nutrition, disease prevention, and honest information for consumers from the natural health industry. Those states will prosper and they will outcompete, outperform, and outlive all the other states. And sooner or later, even the other states will wake up and take notice of what's working, and they'll decide to do the same thing. Health freedom works. Nutrition works. Preventing disease costs a fraction of what it costs to treat it later on. If you do the math, just for economic reasons alone, declaring your state to be a health freedom zone makes sense from so many different angles that I believe it's only a matter of time before at least one state in the United States decides to go this route. I hope it's your state. Thanks for listening and take care. This is Mike Adams, the Health Ranger for naturalnews.com.